Many patients routinely benefit from blood recovery during surgery as an alternative to allogeneic or banked blood transfusions. Several manufacturers make autotransfusion systems that are used for this purpose. Herein, we will describe the extra autotransfusion system. The process begins by collecting the blood from the surgical wound into a sterile reservoir that contains a filter. This is accomplished by using a dual lumen aspiration line that contains an aspiration line and also an anticoagulation line so that the blood does not clot. Vacuum is applied to the reservoir via a vacuum source, most often the XVAC. The anticoagulant joins with the blood at the point of aspiration. This avoids clotting and also reduces activation. Once enough blood has been collected, the wash set needs to be installed. The wash set consists of several elements, a modified latham bowl, a pump loop and tubing organizer cartridge, the blood inlet line, the wash line, and the blood outlet line, a blood collection bag, and a waste bag. A bag of saline is also required. Processing happens in three phases, fill, wash, and empty. Both fill and wash phases utilize centrifugal force to separate the blood components. In the extra, this is 5,600 RPM. Fill refers to filling the centrifuge bowl from the collection reservoir. The fill phase does two very important things. It concentrates the red blood cells and removes supernatant. As the cylinder spins, most of the dense substance moves to the outer wall. Maximum packing of the bowl with red blood cells is responsible for the majority of the removal of contaminants. Debris from the operating field, plasma and plasma-free hemoglobin, platelets, and white cells. These are collected in a waste bag and discarded. The wash phase utilizes a wash solution, typically normal saline for infusion or processing solution, to displace most of the remaining supernatant left in the bowl after the fill phase. If heparin has been used, most of it, that is 98.8 to 99.9%, .9 will be washed out. Both in the fill and wash phases, the pump is running counterclockwise. Once the bowl has been washed, the centrifuge stops. The pump reverses to clockwise, and the blood in the bowl is pumped into the blood collection bag. Depending on the urgency of the case, choice of machine protocol, and bowl size, one unit of washed packed red blood cells with a hematocrit of 40 to 60 percent can be obtained and returned to the patient in under seven minutes. To minimize complications associated with the reinfusion of salvaged blood, the use of an appropriate filter on the patient reinfusion line is strongly recommended. In accordance with AABB standards, 7th edition, when stored at room temperature, blood needs to be transfused to the patient within eight hours after completion of processing.